Hi my friends, today we model this part. It is not so complicated but it has uh, some interesting uh, features and tools. This is the drawing. We start by creating this contour. Dimensions are here and uh, without these two cuts. This uh, model is number 40 from my collection of 100 mechanical parts. New empty document. Take a look of this uh, workbench and select CAD, not bender because we create uh, mechanical parts new sketch in this plane polyline to create that uh, contour right down left down left again up left up horizontal and back to the start these two entities are coincident the point and the line equal are these two short lines this is equal to this this with this this with this and angle of uh, 45 dimension of 90 between this line and this line 90 this is uh, 40 then uh, from this point to this symmetrical point is 38 15 is this line 5 is this distance to the center point then uh, this is 10 let me see this is uh, 35 31 excuse me double click and 31 symmetrical is uh, this point and this point about this axis now we have a fully constrained sketch. Close and extrude symmetrical with a length of 80. Very good. Now we create this cut. 3 on 3. This is a square sketch this face for a new sketch then uh, we use this tool to create a square we start with a point here uh, 
this then we project these two lines to place coincident this point with this line this point with this line we apply the side of three and we place on the same horizontal this point with this point now we have a square close pocket all the way not only this not only five but through all okay then we apply we select this pocket and we apply mirror mirror about this yz plane we select from here yz and you see the other cut now we have to create this conical internal volume we have a distance of five here this is our center point and you see dimensions diameter of 23.86 angle distance 74 and good luck new sketch yz plane we use this tool we project this and this sides then we use polyline to draw a contour up right right here and back to the start good this is 74 this angle is uh, 1.437778 okay you don't see <laughs> where is that dimension <laughs> but take a look here I enlarge this and you see where is that dimension this is free cut my friends it has everything very tricky <laughs> good this uh, diameter divided by 2 is uh, 23.86 divided by 2 okay another dimension is uh, not clear I suppose this is oh this was not this didn't contain the center point coincident this line with this center point now we have a fully constrained sketch close groove the axis is uh, this one y and we have that feature as you can see 
this uh, part has four holes counter bore holes you see 18 11 10 okay we also uh, see that there are two dimensions 38 and 60 they are symmetric this face for a new sketch and we place here a simple circle we use view section to get access to the center point and we place the two dimensions 38 divided by 2 and 60 divided by 2 one degree of freedom because we didn't place a diameter to this circle why because we use the tool hole and now we place the real dimension which is 11 what is the depth through the part then we go here to select counter bore this diameter is 18 and this distance is 10 okay now we apply a new procedure the first and this uh, series of modeling this is the counter bore we want to multiply this hole in four instances to do this we select this last feature the counter bore and not mirrored not linear pattern not polar pattern but create multi transport multi transform select this now FreeCAD knows that we uh, use this uh, hole we select with we'll right click this area and we apply add mirrored transformation you see the other new hole then we go back here and we add other transformation on horizontal direction and we have all that four holes okay there are some chamfers these two are two at 45 degrees and this other are one at 45 one at 45 we select this edge we keep press the control key on the keyboard and select also the other one then chamfer of one millimeter is by default okay other selection this edge keep press the control key and select the other edge then chamfer not one but two millimeters for this uh, two chamfers good that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye